All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, this is actually coming from the uh, Great Smoky Mountain uh, website. And what this is actually saying is that Great Smoky Mountains has several volcanoes, and they are active at the moment. So basically, folks, this is the idea. A year-long geological study conducted National Park Service, or by the National Park Service, has determined that there is an active volcano in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. And several more have been basically put on notice. The NPS uh, released its findings in the press release. Uh, basically, the summary goes, scientists in the NPS began considering the possibility that the volcanoes could exist in the region after an earthquake when it hit the Smoky Mountain in February of 2015 with a 2.1 magnitude earthquake which basically was a minor tremor, and it raised red flags among geologists quite quickly. So evidently there was a, uh, a mantle line, or whatever it's called, that leads up to the, uh, through the crust that was nearing its peak when this thing actually happened. Uh, a first earthquake recorded was 1789. The latest were 2011-2015, with only a few years apart. Unusual earthquake patterns can indicate the presence of volcanic activity, so the NPS assembled a team of researchers to investigate. And it looks like this is between Tennessee and South Carolina. And it looks like they're watching three different, uh, possibly three different uh, mountain ranges or volcanic Areas. I know it says earthquakes here, ladies and gentlemen, but if one earthquake triggers a volcanic activity and they're watching three, that generally means that it could be from the same magma pool as well. Therefore, I am right in saying that several uh, mountains in the area basically are erupting or near to erupt or thereabouts. So, uh, right now the threat level um, above is being focused on Mount uh, Lacanti or Lacant, where, where there are active volcanoes or an active volcano, which means that, you know, the route to it can lead to several other due to the magma chamber. So I'm still not wrong in saying that there are multiple in their area. So scientists are still working to determine the risk of the volcano. So you guys get the idea here, folks. Within two years, a.k.a. pretty much the same time CERN has been active, hint, hint, nod, nod, wink, wink, they've had two major earthquakes which have triggered volcanic activity and eruptions thereof. I know there's a little bit different, but just because you don't see it spewing out with what was in Poland, where it blank, where the ash in the sky blankets the air where planes can't fly, doesn't mean that gas is not being released into the atmosphere that you can see via infrared, via thermal, and other lighting sources thereof. So I'm actually right in this. Um, oddly enough, this is also linked, oddly enough, uh, I told you Tennessee and South Carolina. Also, they're watching relatively new number of volcanoes in comparable sides in Iceland and uh, Gonar, Gon Congar in Russia. So, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, Tennessee, Iceland, and Congar in Russia. Oh, Bunga. I think Bunga is supposed to be a capital B. In Iceland and in Congar uh, in Russia. So oddly enough, ladies and gentlemen, and if you read your Bible, 
you will hear in the last days that the volcanoes will erupt. And this is all around. I guarantee you, if, if you and I could fo could follow out why, specifically why, hint, hint, nod, nod, wink, wink, CERN was placed in the Swiss and French Alps, it would be for strategic value in where the main magma chambers and fault lines are to where they can probably do the most direct damage they can in controlling everything else. Oh, you can say harp too. Harp, harp is in this. No doubt, both of them. But I think CERN, I really do believe they can, they can direct CERN's energy through specific paths. I almost guarantee you that. So, this will definitely be interesting to watch. Thank you.